welcome to this new episode of MySQL 101 for beginners. Today, we're going to talk about data types. So in MySQL, when you create a table, data types are very important. So this is what defines your um, columns. Each column, when you insert data, has some types in it. So it could be an integer, a date, a string, and, and so on, right? And data types can be classified into different categories in MySQL, which are strings, numerics, date and time, binary, spatial, and JSON. We're going to see in future episodes about the details of uh, these uh, data types. But today, I want to show you what you should not do when you create a table in MySQL. And the biggest example I can give you is this one. Please don't do this. Don't create a table with, uh, for every columns, use varchar 255. It happens all the time. I've seen a lot of developers doing this. I've seen ORM creating uh, this kind of table. This is very bad for MySQL, so you should avoid that. Another wrong practice we can see is you should always use the uh, specific data type that match the data you want to store. For example, in this example, you're going to see that we can store um, a date as a string. A lot of people are doing this, but it is bad. You should use the real data type for the date. So in this example of the pet table that we already created, I am use varchar 10 for the birth date, and I add a date. As you can see, for this pet, Maya, I was able to create the birth date um, as uh, uh, February 31, right? So now I create different ones. And now if I want to make a query to see the, the age uh, of the pet, we can see that we have an issue here because, and we receive a warning because the date time is incorrect to be calculated, right? So this date time, it's not correct. And of course that value is bad and we it is expected. If we would uh, have uh, used the good one, right? The good data type, uh, for this uh, table and for this record specifically, it would have been much better, right? So for example, if I would use date time, at the time I would insert the data in it, I would have, watch out, the incorrect value for the column birthday, which is what is expected to have. Another uh, bad example, uh, when the, you are using wrong data types or uh, not um, specifically the correct way to use the data types uh, for your columns, it when you want to join two columns with different data types. So in this case, we're gonna join the table pet and the table life using the row ID for a pet, which is a big hit unsigned, and the pet ID with a char two. And in this chart too, we're gonna you we're gonna add some numbers that are integers, in fact. So uh, let's have a look what uh, we do. That so we will join the pet table and the life table with pet ID equal the row ID that comes from pet. And what happens here? We're gonna have a warning that says, "Oh, I can use ref access to the primary key, which is the index, due to a collation, a type or collation conversion on the field pet ID." Of course, pet ID is a char and we need to convert that. And when we convert a string as a numeric, by default, MySQL will uh, specify uh, differently. It will cast it on as a double. So this is what we can see here. So the optimizer has to cast the pet ID as a double and has also to cast the uh, myro ID as a double. So he's casting the two ones and this is why it's not optimal uh, to retrieve the data and uh, so for performance and for results also sometimes you could have some results that are bad if you are joining table with different data type, right? So this is something you should avoid absolutely. So now we know what we should not do. We should use the good data type when we create a table, right, in MySQL. So we will see in the next uh, episodes how to use them and what are the details of all this data type. The next episode will be on the string data type. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.